Hello, my dear soul. Welcome to your reading. This is a message meant to find you. And also, if you are an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, you are a fire sign. Welcome to your reading. You are here for a reason. So let's find out what your spirit guides want you to know right in this moment. So let's see what you need to know, my dear fire sign. So you have what you need to know. What needs to grow in your life on what you should be focused on and what you must let go. So let's find out. Let's take a look to your cards here. Your first card, water magic. Hmm. Second, you have earth magic. Wow, what an interesting combo here. And you have seasonal harvest. Let me take your cards. And let's see more with the tarot. I have an idea, but I want to make sure. Now, one of the, the key words here is abundance and is showing me that um, you are so capable, you are so good at something, so able to achieve great things, even more than what you achieved. Now, you must have a clear direction. You are being advised to get clear, be, take responsibility, be more careful. Wow. As you decide your ways or your way, which way to go, what to do. You are manifesting something here. But there is so... It's like a battle. Like you feel you should do something, but then you, you, your mind is telling you maybe something else. And then uh, you look at what you have been uh, getting until this point. And... It's this energy of almost acting like a child. Because it's the full card in reverse. Acting like a child. Don't do that. Let me... I think this card is this way. Maybe. So. Look at this. Everything is temporary. Now, maybe you have moments when you are very ambitious, right? And then um, mm, very impulsive. But are you, are you bringing your wishes um, until the end? Like maybe you get excited with an idea, right? And... Then you maybe take some action for the moment, but then something happens and you are not going until the end. So what I hear for you here, become more stable in your manifestations, in your life, with everything that you do. You see, becoming more stable you will attract uh, the things that are not uh, going to be only for a while. You will attract the real thing. So let's say if it's about your work, you must become more responsible, more stable, more organized. There is something that you need to do differently. And be sure that your hard work will be uh, rewarded. You will be seen. 
Now, let's see. You have here focus on your um, on your work or what you have. Focus on that. You have here um, all the necessary tools, you know, to create this magic in your life, to to invite in your life exactly what you want, what you need, right? Now, this requires not only tools, resources, dedication, commitment. So, you see, something is distracting you here and your spirit guides are saying to be aware of that. You know, because you are mixing something up here. You are not the person that you used to be. And what you've got right now, it's enough like you to get going. But you are lost. Lost in who you used to be, what you used to have. And you are not paying attention to the present moment. See you on the other side. Now you are being invited to work with what you have right now. To, um, to be aware of um, the, the, the skills that you have, the power that you have, the resources in your hands at this point. And do something with all these things. Because of the past, because of what happened, you have a hard time of, um, you know, really working on what's necessary in your life right now. You've got to also hear sacrifice, giving up something now for a future reward. Now... I might not know exactly what is it that you need to give up on, but you know it. You know it for sure. Something here that um, stops you from really being um, focused on the most important things in your life. So it can be simple as, or not simple, but can be your own mind, right? Where, what kind of thoughts are running through your mind? What you talk with yourself? What that negative self-talk, if has place in your mind, that, that's something that keeps you from using what you've got and making the best of it. Now, for some of you, is this need of seeing the results? Right? You do something. You wanna. You wanna get that reward right now. What I see for you is that you need to have patience and to change your ways. I don't know what is with your ways. Look at this, the tower. Something with your ways. You need to let go of this um, uh, so focused on winning, on getting it right now. Something that you do... Um, it acts like um, like a blockage in your way, and this needs to 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 stop. To, you need to turn this off. Whatever it is, the way you mm, think, the way or about the situation. Maybe it's about your work, what you are doing. Something here needs to be done differently. You see. The death card shows a necessary transition. So definitely here something needs to, uh, you know, to change. Because if you are not in a place right now where you are okay with your life, it means that something needs to be changed. So definitely... You must know, my dear viewer, that uh, sometimes with the Tower card, um, 
I get it as a, you know, if you don't do it, right? Because you are here for a reason, you listen to this message. So you are being warned about what you should do, how, or be aware of what might need to be done, like you to be better. But it, let's say if you are not doing anything about it, if you are stubborn, if you say, oh, this is nonsense, this, I don't care, I'm good. If you, if you don't um, take any kind of action, the universe is interfering. The tower card is that moment of, you know, surprise, of shock when something is being destroyed um, because, because until there it's supposed to be. So what is not meant for you, it will not stay in your life. Let's see what we have here. Enjoy the ride. And anything is possible. Now, whatever it was, however you have done things until this point, has worked in some way. Now, be grateful for whatever life gave you until this point. And step into a new phase. Anything is possible. So this is because, you know, I was saying that maybe you are stubborn. You don't want to change certain ways. But uh, the thing is that um, exactly this needs to be changed. That uh, you may not want to change something because of the, the maybe you are afraid, right? Uh, you are worried about... Um, what if things will go worse, right? No, don't be afraid to change your ways because good times come from hard work, time spent in good company, celebration. So good things will happen to you. This is a very positive um, message here. Uh, this is nothing about, it's, it's nothing negative about this, my dear viewer. It's just um, if, Things are not going the way you want and you may struggle and you may, um, or maybe you are t things are going, but it's missing something, right? Could be better. That means that it's time for a change. It's time to work your magic, right? And because you are so capable, but for certain reasons, you kind of lost the faith or you don't have that self-confidence, Um and you are being advised to, to be ambitious and to ask more from yourself because you can. Um, when you put your mind into it, you can. With the uh, king of wands here, you can attract anything that you want in your life. Anything. Um, and um, yeah, the results will come. Everything happens at, at a certain uh, time. That I don't know, you don't know. Important is your commitment, your devotion, and uh, your patience as you make changes in uh, your life. And uh, also some sort of sacrifice here that you must do in order to, or must make in order to uh, have a brighter future. So my dears, this is what I've got for you in this moment. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. I wish you all the best. And I see you soon with a new reading. Love and light.